we are really moving in and out of dimensions all day long. And where we're going is much, much higher than 5D. So what it looks like is when you consciously put yourself into a higher dimensional space, like when you listen to one of my energy activations, um, with some meditations, when you hold that space yourself, like if you're doing light work or if you are meditating, you're going into a higher dimensional space and you're anchoring it in not only for yourself, but for the entire human collective. So right now, because most of the collective is not consciously putting themselves in that higher dimensional space, they, when we are not focusing our conscious attention on that higher dimensional space, we come back down to, you know, not all the way down to the level of the collective in general, but the level of the collective does bring us back down a little bit. So what it looks like is this transition from where we are in 3D Earth to higher dimensional Earth looks like the more that each of us chooses to consciously hold higher dimensional space on a daily basis, the more the entire collective begins to rise up. And we see that with more and more people awakening and becoming aware of their inner self, their intuition and all of these things. We're seeing such a mass uprising in people awakening. And it's because people like us are holding a higher dimensional space consciously every day. So as more and more people awaken, more people will start holding that space. When we get to a certain threshold, there will be more people holding the higher dimensional space on a daily basis than not holding the higher dimensional space. At that point, we will all essentially enter into a time that looks nothing like this when the norm throughout our day is being in a higher dimensional space. And it'll be the abnormal if we sort of fall back down for a little bit during the day. Um, so, so that's what the transition looks like. And different people are seeing different things about how this looks about. Does everybody go? Do some people, is there a split? And do some people go? So for what I see, there are different potentialities for what this actually looks like as far as us actually really emerging on the other side of this transition in New Earth. And what I see is because there's different potentialities, it has not been decided yet. It really depends on the collective and the, everyone's individual choices. Everyone has that individual choice if they want to move into trust and into holding higher dimensional space. And so right now, the, the norm is still people holding fear and doubt. But as we reach that threshold and this transition happens, the norm will be people holding trust in higher dimensional space. That doesn't mean that there won't necessarily be the outliers. Just like right now, we're the outliers holding the higher dimensional space. It could look like there's outliers that are holding lower dimensional space, but that really, essentially, they aren't having much creative power anymore on earth. So it's, it is the reason different people see different things about this split is not even split. We don't know about this transition is because nothing has been fully decided yet. Nothing is written in stone. We're literally creating it as we move forward.